What we have here today is Dell's latest micro PC, Dell Optiplex Micro 7020. In the last video, we have covered each individual external ports. Do check that out as it contains details, even Dell doesn't make abundantly clear. Right off the bat, we weren't very thrilled to find out that 2.5 inch SSD are no longer an option. The slot itself doesn't exist anymore. RIP Blue Caddy. We have been pleasantly surprised to see dual M.2 slots for NVMe SSDs. Previously, if you wanted dual NVMe slot, you would have had to buy more expensive higher end models. Cherry on the top is the inclusion of Gen 4 protocol. This is exciting because previously base models never had Gen 4 slots. Be mindful though, only slot near the CPU is Gen 4, the other is Gen 3 on the base model. Plus model has both of them as Gen 4. The speed was a bit disappointing. A performance test video is in the making. Once ready, the link will be in the description. Consider subscribing to stay updated. One issue we spotted is that SSDs with heatsink may have slight trouble fitting in. So if you're buying an SSD with heatsink, do be careful. This SSD is too close to the speaker slot, and this one is too close to the WLAN slot. RAM slots are right below the fan. Best way to get to them is to remove the speaker and pulling out the fan cable. Then gently squeeze these clips and pull up. There are two slots. Each could take 32 gigabytes each, a total of 64 gigabytes. In the past, they never included DDR5 in base model, but this time they did. Speed is capped at 4,800 megatrans per second, at least in the base model. This model comes with both 12th gen and 14th gen CPU. Having two generation older 12th gen CPU is very strange, but there's a good reason for that. We will discuss this in details in the performance video that's coming up. One of the notable difference between the Plus model and Base model is that Plus models come with 65 watt CPUs. Base models come with lower TDP 35 watt CPUs. Since the device still has a single fan to cool high TDP CPU, the performance gain is unfortunately minimal due to thermal throttling. In the next video, we will look into some benchmarks to see how well these upgrades stack up against older models. Do subscribe to be notified. If you do like our effort, please click like.